Fellas, God gamers, I was at the gym when the news dropped about the augment stat removal possibly being reverted. And right then and there, I busted for the third time this day, had to rush home, change my shorts, and here we are to film the video. And here we are. Here is the update. It is a very long post from Mortdog. I will just give you guys the cliff notes and then I will give you guys my thoughts on the changes. And I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment below. So after we get done with the video, make sure you do that. Helps me out on YouTube. So here we go. All right, hey everyone, Ryan Mort here, we love Mort. Rune Terror mid set is coming up and we wanted to give an update on where we are with the augment data. So uh, as I said, I'll try to give you the cliff notes here. They uh, they still stand by the decision to remove it. You know, we took the big risk of deciding to close Pandora's box um, because uh, they felt that t people use stats incorrectly. It enforces a stagnant meta, all those things, all those good stuff. But however, we are also a competitive game and as such, we value a fair playing field. We were naive to think that everyone would happily go along with this and just adopt the way of approaching the game. Concerns about certain players getting access to stats uh, to give them an advantage were immediately brought up. Um, and then some people have, uh, you know, some people have unique uh, access to the API. Um, and there's also roundabout methods uh, such as match history scraping. And then the obvious solve for match history uh, scraping is to remove augments from match history, but that is an extremely harsh trade-off as players like to share their screenshots of their games. Yeah, that would be awful. They like to share their screenshots of the games, um, you know, to compare like, yo, I had these these combination of augments. It was insane, you know, like it takes a lot of fun out of the game if they remove that. Um, cool. So uh, that would be a massive change and substantial blow to the community conversation, which the main goal, the main stated goals for removing the stats in the first place was one, to uh, have less enforced stagnant metas, um, and then two, uh, in uh, encourage more community discussion. So removing the augments from match history would remove discussion, which is part of their stated goal. So that wouldn't make sense. Um, and then as promised, we gave some time and evaluated where we're at. And in the end, we value TFT as a fair competitive game. And so the headline here is that we are going to revert the augment stats removal, starting with Rune Terra Reforge mid set. So at 9.5, when that comes out in about a month or so, that is when we'll be back. We'll just read the end of this. We're happy we ran this experiment and got some good learnings from it that both we and other games can benefit from. But at the end of the day, we promise to give it a fair shake and this is the fairest outcome. You can expect these stats to be available when the mid set launches. So as soon as mid set launches should be back, shouldn't be delayed like how the stats ban was kind of delayed this time. It should be back immediately. Um, I would imagine they're gonna give like a, a hard date to the third party website so they can post again, just like they did previously. To everyone who came along for the ride and gave us feedback, thank you. The TFT team will continue to take bold steps with our mechanics, designs, systems, tournaments. And as always, we're here to bring you the best experience to all of you. So keep giving us your feedback. We're always listening. Thanks all and take it easy. So far, I've seen the sentiment around this, especially on Twitter, has been quite positive. I will go through here a little bit. I think it's quite positive. Um, holy moly, NA is going to win worlds once again, baby. We already know. Um, so a lot of people are being quite receptive, quite positive on this. Even if some people don't like it, uh, they like that they were uh, the transparency, at least. We're Barack, as we can see right there. We are Barack. Uh, so what are my thoughts on this? I went through the same roller coaster that Mort Dog went on this. So initially, when they announced that they were going to try to remove the stats, I was quite positive on the change. And honestly, I think that comes from a bias as I had just previously uh, coming into set nine, I took a year off from TFT. I didn't play at all at, in 7.5, 8 or 8.5. I, I did not play at all. I started playing a little bit at the tail end of 8.5 just for fun. Um, and my main reason for leaving the game was I found the game to be very stagnant very boring metas uh are solved instantly and that honestly is still kind of true um <laughs> but that was my main complaint and then so when they announced the stat removal from my perspective from not playing not being in the thick of it anymore and i would not i would not ever consider me to be a competitive player despite me climbing to challenger in every set that i've played post set four um I've climbed to Challenger, I've peaked at Challenger. I would not consider myself a competitive player. I play this game 90% for fun, and then occasionally I just have a competitive burst, I'll try to qualify for a tournament, whatever, because it's fun. Uh, I mostly play this game for fun. Um, and so coming from that perspective and coming from taking the game off, I really thought, I was like, yeah, anything that extends the patch cycle is gonna be great. Anything that does that is gonna be fun to me, and that sounds great to me. And then once we, once I actually started grinding a little bit and playing a lot of games, I found myself using stats more and more, and it wasn't about stats 
you I wasn't it wasn't really about like looking at stats and going like okay therefore this this has a better rating therefore I'm going to take it I've never used stats that way um it was more so like it just allowed me to it, it just gave me a data set that allowed me to learn the game easier uh, because I and I definitely feel what he's talking about is that some players at a huge disadvantage. I really have felt like uh, since they removed stats, I've been playing at a huge disadvantage. Now, again, I'm not really a competitive player, but mostly playing for fun. But when I do have those competitive bursts, I do. I, I really feel like I miss the stats. And so some of you are already t already typing right now going like, hey, you just can't use your brain and you just can't be. Blah, 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 you can't you have no intuitive. Blah, blah, blah. No. OK, what it's about is what it's about for me and what I what I totally agree with what Mort Dog is feeling here, where he says the competitive integrity was damaged. Is that I am like a solo player. I don't have any friends in high UO. I, I have like people I'm acquainted with and, and friendly with and that sort of thing, but I wouldn't, I don't have anybody I would really call like close personal friends that I like talk about the meta quite a bit, a lot that are like, um, in that like grandmaster to challenger level. I'm not at that level right now, but you know, I don't really have a lot of people to communicate with. And so whenever I'm playing the game, I'll play, I don't know, I'll play like a hundred games on a patch and I'm only able to know my data set. Um, and my data set is pretty narrow. It's 100 games from my perspective. And when you play a game and you take an augment and the game goes well, like how do you know that that augment was like the, the, the piece that put you over? Like you can intuitively like think about things like, oh, if I take long distance pals when I'm playing Sorks, um, when I'm playing vertical Sorks, that makes a lot of sense because they're sharing AP. We have a lot of AP, they're sharing it. You know, we, like that, like there's some things that are just clearly intuitive, but a lot of things aren't. Like sometimes you'll win a game and like maybe it's the augment or maybe it's like five other decisions you made in the game sometimes you lose a game and like maybe it was the augment maybe it wasn't maybe it was how you played your stage three econ maybe it was like maybe you were you were supposed to play three for here and you didn't you played atrox instead of playing lissandra or something like that and it's like really hard to compare your own data set like you have to play so many games and you're playing at a big disadvantage versus like for example a player like soju Soju plays the game more than me, but like that that's, you know, respect to that. Like that's his grind. He's got that. You know, you got to play the game a lot in order to get high ranked and get a large data set for yourself. But also he has a study group, you know, he has a study group of, you know, five, five other people just like him and they're able to compare results and they're able to do those things. And me as a player who dabbles in competitiveness, um, I, I, I can't just like play the game. I have to like you know, take a break and watch a lot of gameplay. And you might be thinking watching gameplay is the best way to learn TFT. True. But what I'm saying is like, I'm not watching gameplay. Like since the augment stats removal, I'm not watching gameplay to see how they play out like certain openers or, or build certain boards or like play the mid game. I'm not watching to get that. I'm literally watching sometimes just so I can hear them say what augment is broken and what augment is not based off of their situation and based off of what's going on, which is very different than like the way I used to watch gameplay before the stats removal. Before the stats removal, I would watch to learn the game states like we were talking about there, you know, how they're doing this pivot, how they're doing that. And I, I would have to watch significantly less because I would just watch and I could watch them play out a situation one time and I go, oh, okay, th okay, those are their outs. Okay, this makes sense to me. This is intuitive. But with the augment stats removal, I'm literally having to just have like, a stream playing and just hear them talk about augments like a lot of times when i'm playing um where i i didn't have to do that before i could just focus on my own game and then open up the data set kind of compare what's going on in my games with the data set so yeah i have really felt that disadvantage um from not having like the friend groups and not having access to those scraped websites and and that sort of thing i i have i have personally really felt the game become a lot harder from the stats removal and again i have never been one of those people who just afk turn off brain click the stats that as the best one i'm someone who really likes to think about the game really likes to theory craft and it is it has hampered my the stats removal has significantly hampered my ability um to kind of do stuff like that to kind of like uh, kind of theory craft on my own i really have to like go outside of it and 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 listen to a lot of other players feedback and a lot of what's going on with 
with uh, some uh, you know more skilled players than my, myself, it, it's harder to like play my own game and do my own thing with the stats removal. And I think what they wanted with the stats removal was for people to three craft on their own and to figure stuff out. But I, I honestly have felt the opposite effect because I don't have the access to that data set. I have to kind of do what everyone else is doing because uh, their data set is larger than mine. And I will, I will never be able to catch up if I try to use my own data set uh, because my data set is too small. Um, and, and it has really felt, I mean, I'm kind of going on, I'm kind of beating this head horse, but it has really felt like more so than when the stats were available, I have to copy people more now if I actually want to be competitive, um, which I haven't been doing. That's why I'm not competitive right now. I've, I've, I've still just been doing my own thing, but it's been so much harder to do my own thing. Um, and that, that, has, that has been bad. Uh, so I am so excited these stats are being brought back. Uh, honestly, I, 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 you know, I, I hope they'd be back sooner, but like, this is, this is great. This is an amazing change and that's it. That's the news guys. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. I love you all. And Hey, I heckin love TFT.